Hello guys and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes The Devil's Daughter Part 4 with me, Dan Street. <coughs> now, we are about to go to Epping Forest to, I think, spy on Lord Marsh's meeting. After we believe that there's more to Lord Marsh's special, educa yeah, special education special education program than there is can't bloody talk to save me life are you oh, crap, eh? No, we've got to run from some hunters. Let's see how long you can stay alive. Shut Arms out of cover. Where is he? Ooh. This man was killed recently. The body is still warm. He was poor. Find him, boys. Find him. <laughs> Oh, 
Ecke. Oh god. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh shit. Mr. 
Who was killed by a shot to the forehead? My God, it's Lord Harrington's body. My health is deteriorating. I need to dress my wound. Quartermain Club. This must be Lord Marsh's cabin. This will help to dress my wound. Someone's coming, I better hide. <laughs> Who's this? Breathe, Lord Marsh. It's almost over. Who are you? George Erst from the First Lovett Scouts, here to deliver justice. <laughs> An old soldier. How ironic. Did we refuse you on our special education program? It's true, I was refused. An old wounded soldier is useless to you, but he can still be dangerous. We hunted a lot in these woods, but I didn't expect to become the prey. I have lived a grand life without any limits set by others. I will die a happy man, so you won't see me begging, you festering wretch. Prepare to meet your maker. Hmm. Special Education Program, George Hurst only wishes to avenge the victims. Lord Marsh is a cold bloody killer who, under the guise of charity, hunted down poor people, put Lord Marsh in jail where he will eventually die from his tuberculosis. Lord Marsh has no likelihood of recovering from his illness, I allow him to die peacefully at home. Lord Marsh has no likelihood of recovering. Lower your rifle, please, for Tom's sake. Holmes! My, my. An almost worthy opponent. Tom? My Tom? If you've endangered my lad in any way, you will pay dearly. I assure you that Tom is safe in London with a well-trusted friend. And now it's time to end this. By all means. By all George, means. George, listen to me. If you're seeking an apt punishment and vengeance, killing Marsh will give him exactly what he wants. He would die knowing that he had fulfilled his life through his absolute control of it. But, if you allow Marsh to live, he will suffer a far greater punishment. For his ball and chain will be the debilitating tuberculosis. Look, 
It's already dragging him painfully and slowly to his death. Then his wealth can and will be used to support the families affected by the Quartermain Club's malevolence. You're mad! You're both mad! Let's go and find Tom. Not just yet. See, Lord Marsh, you will die here, although not by the gun. You'll die slowly. Don't do this, George. Detective, take a look here. <coughs> oh. oh, bloody hell. This is how you became sick, Lord Marsh. The beheading of your victims who were suffering from tuberculosis was what infected you. Poetic justice. Holmes, you cannot fully understand why we helped so many and sacrificed a few. But don't let me die like this. Just kill me now. Oh, who do I kill? Who do I kill? Mr. Hurst, you have already served brutal justice to Lord Harrington and I hope Lord Collins and Dr. Fisher. Taking that into consideration, you may as well kill Lord Marsh and end the Quartermain Club completely. No loose ends. to a new case. Done, Watson. Holmes, you're playing bowls? Indoors? Not just any old bowls, Watson. Lawn bowling. Seriously? With your injury? Oh, no. Mrs. Hudson is going to murder you. Hmm. Well, that's it for now. Time to go. Would you care to join me? You're incorrigible. And where are we going, Holmes? I'm participating in the final stage of the annual tournament held by the London Archaeological Institute's Bowling Club. It's an official invitation. I'll just need to dress suitably and then we can leave. Splendid, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Looks like a butcher. <laughs> Oh, sorry guys, I keep forgetting, i got to progress myself in these loading clips. Mr. Holmes, you played very well yesterday. I'm obliged to you, Sir Charles. I play many outdoor sports, that's the key to my success. My friend Dr. Watson has decided to join me. 
Really? Mr. Holmes, would you like to see the first prize? A rare stone Mayan Kiche calendar. Mayan Kiche? Indeed. Their legendary king, Tekun Uman, has his statue just behind you. Although this one is a cast metal copy. That? Oh. <laughs> well, since only members may enter the clubhouse, we have exhibited the calendar outside. Please explore. Okay. I'd like to win the Mayan calendar. It's a beautiful work of art. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad you are my opponent for the final. People call me Arthur the Invincible. <laughs> so I wish you good luck. Uh, thank you, sir. This will keep Watson happy. <laughs> Only club members have access. Only club members have access. Oh, Holmes, you look like a butcher. <laughs> right. The first prize, the Mayan Kiche Cannon. Mine Kiche Calendar. It's a great final. Did you see the first prize? No, then let's play some ah, skittles. Are you ready to begin the final game? Yes. Let's start the final. <laughs> Oh yes, look how further that went. And contact. Oh. Yeah. Go. Boom. Boom. 
Nah, it's just boring now. So. Congratulations on your game, Mr. Holmes. Exceptional. The award ceremony will be tomorrow morning. See you then to receive your prize of the calendar. I trust you will be there as well, Dr. Watson? Unfortunately, I'll be unable to attend tomorrow. Duty calls. Ah, what a pity. <coughs> Let's go home. Right. Let us be off to Baker Street. Come on. Oh, waiting, waiting, waiting. Hello, Mr. Bouvier. Hello, Mr. Holmes. Well, Caitlin? <laughs> Your costume! <laughs> oh, don't you like it? Oh, I do! <laughs> Caitlin, come on. Show some respect for your father. Oh, is it Alice? Lovely. You know, Father, <laughs> Miss Alice was telling me all about her travels. She has already toured the world with her own father. Your daughter is exquisite. And just to think that she was aboard the Orient Express when it was attacked. <gasps> what a dream. Indeed. She's so creative and imaginative. And that reminds me, would you allow Caitlin to visit me so that she can practice playing the piano? Hmm. It's very kind of you, but I decided that Caitlin should stop playing the piano. Oh, Father! Why did you say that? Caitlin, we are neighbors. We'll meet again. Until then, I shall leave you with this book. Thank you, Miss Alice. Well, let's change his clothes. Now.
Uh, here it is. We go. did it. It killed Zacharias. Calm yourself now, Sir Charles. You've had a shock. Let the police do their duty. What can a mere inspector like you do about it? You don't know anything. A mere inspector? Sure. And now here comes Mr. Holmes. Lestrade, are you here to receive a prize as well? <laughs> Very amusing, Holmes. You can go home. The ceremony's been cancelled. We've got a murder scene here. Really? And to think I only came here for my prize. I know, Holmes. I saw your name on the list of finalists. So go away. You're not going to congratulate me. What? Do you really think I'm that naive? You turning up out of the blue and then bam, a murder? There's a surprise. Oh, you're making a spectacle of yourself, Lestrade. Let's just pretend that I'm a simple uh, consultant, your humble assistant. Oh, all right then. A club member, Mr. Zacharias Greystoke, was killed at around four in the morning. There. Now, don't mess around. I promise that I won't, Inspector. Oh, dear. Mm. What do you make of the facts? It's quite clear. The murderer intended to steal the Mayan calendar. He was caught by Zacharias Greystoke. He then took up the first weapon that came to hand, the statue's spear, and killed Greystoke. Then he fled, just as Sir Charles was coming out of the club. Unfortunately, we've been unable to find any trail beyond the club's wall. It's as if the murderer vanished into thin air. Well, take a look for yourself. Did you search the clubhouse? What for? <clears throat> the murder took place outside. Hmm. A murder has happened at the Bowls Club. And it's my job to investigate. But that will come in part 5, so I'm going to wrap part 4 right up here. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. Also, I want to say a massive, massive thank you once again to you all for helping me reach 500 subscribers. Um, I do have a video thanking you all for my, well, for my achievement, which I will leave a link in the description below so you can go check that out and watch me thank you all for helping me reach 500 subscribers once again. So yes, I will see you soon with part 5, real soon. Feel free also to check out as well, Star Wars Battlefront, the story, part 1, 2 and 3 are up on the channel now, please go check them out. Leave a like as well, that would really help me out. My next aim now is to reach 1,000 subscribers, my first 1,000 subscribers, it might take time, it may not, but that is my next goal for my channel. So yes, thank you ever so much for watching this video guys and I will see you soon. Thank you.